still building materials and furniture manufacturer and retailer has been hit with rising costs for about 12 months. At this time last year we had quite a big shock with uh, very, very large increases in, in sea freight, international freight in all markets. We're starting to see shipping costs come down significantly, not quite back to what they were pre-COVID. Quarter brick, half brick, full brick. But that fall in shipping costs has been replaced by higher production bills, particularly for the building materials it imports from Europe, where some suppliers have seen gas prices soar 700%. Some people have talked about building costs coming down. I'm probably not a believer that building costs are going to come down, but I think we're going to have a, a sort of, a, a, I guess, a, a floor to the increases. The latest inflation data shows there was no let up in the costs for new home builds and rents jumped. Surprisingly, consumer prices eased in the year to October back to 6.9%. Fruit and vegetables were key to the decline, with price rises slowing from 17% in the 12 months to September to 9%. In the same period, travel costs eased and fuel prices rose after the government reversed the excise discount. We, like the market, had expected actually an acceleration in inflation, so it is very surprising to see. And it raises the possibility that perhaps we're seeing some easing of cost pressures coming through early, but I think overall it's likely that we will see inflation accelerate for the rest of the quarter. The Treasurer says the latest numbers don't include the impact of the recent floods on grocery prices and higher energy bills caused by the war in Ukraine. Inflation is still too high. It's still hurting households. It's still the number one challenge facing our economy. So this is a great hydrating cleanser for you. It's like many, this beauty salon and e-commerce business is adjusting to higher costs. Our rent and utility bills have increased. Um, even small things like selling consumables, for example, I know it sounds silly, but like tissues have gone up in prices um, and we use a lot of them at the salon. So far, they've been absorbing those extra costs, but are now starting to pass them on to customers. We have had to look at our prices and we will be making some slight price increases. It could be anywhere from a few dollars to five dollars more. The Reserve Bank predicts headline inflation will reach about 8% by the end of the year. We'll know if that's the case in January, which means it's unlikely the RBA will pause its rate hikes just yet. I think that they will, will discount some of the weakness in these numbers. There's clearly a risk that they are, inflation is easing a bit more quickly than expected, but I think that they'll probably want to be a bit more confident, so wait uh, for their natural pause that they'll have in January. The RBA meets for the last time this year in December. Most economists expect it will lift the cash rate by another quarter of a percentage point.